really want to uh, begin to teach you guys is to always have direction and purpose in all of your movement, okay? So the best way to do this is to be able to kind of reverse engineer it and to say to yourself, well, my end goal is ultimately to set up the deadliest submission, I believe, in Gi Jiu Jitsu, which is the Gregorian, okay? Because it's literally a trap, and we have it from different positions. However, your purpose is to get them in a position of the Gregorian, which is for them to turn, which is to go to their hands and knees. So if I am passing Coach Philip, or Professor Phillips' uh, guard, okay? Okay, so I'm here, I'm passing here. I'm not gonna try to get him in a side control. I'm just gonna go around here so that he begins to move the turn. But if you notice, I gave up my leg, okay, in order to incentivize him to roll to his knee. Because it's a logical thing to do because there's space, it feels like an escape, and you're giving up this leg. But it's all a trap because you want them to reach for your leg because you know how to sprawl, okay? So once again, go here, so here, here. But then I'm immediately going north up. So he's got my leg here. But what I'm doing is this now, sprawling. Whenever you're sprawling, you're never holding on to the other person here. You have to have kind of control the hip and the head, okay? Because they're gonna be driving with their head. But yeah, and they're gonna be pulling the knee in. He's gonna be pulling the knee in, he's gonna be driving with his head, he's probably gonna be pushing with his head to the left. Push to the left, take me down, and then you get here, okay? And they stay on top. So what I want you guys to understand is when you sprawl, your hip should be on the shoulder, and you should be doing kind of like that skydiving that I was telling you, you guys when you mount, but I want you to keep pushing the head down and, at, and your toes, should be on the mat and you need heavy on the mat also. So as he's as he is trying to pull my knee in, I'm walking, 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 and kicking that leg back. And my hip is heavy. This hand is controlling his hip. This hand is controlling his head, and I'm pushing the head down because it, it, it's it's very difficult to push, drive forward, and finish a takedown if your head is being stuffed down, okay? Because from here, I can always circle off to the side. 30 seconds yeah. remaining. I can roll this way, this way, this way. But the point is, is that if we go this way here, okay? okay. And we're here, and we shoot for this left. 15 leg. seconds remaining. Okay. And we again grab the leg. What I'm doing is that I'm driving my knee to the mat, my toes in, and I'm walking to the back of my hip. Hip, 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 So his arms are stretched out. When his arms are stretched out, the reason why I started giving up this leg is because if they reach with their arms, and the more that I pressure them back this way, this way, this way, this way, the easier it was to feed my lapel because their arms are away. Because if they're defending and they're not reaching for the leg, they're kind of here and it's tough to get in there because they're saving their neck, okay? So sometimes I'll even get in here and I'll drive that knee in, yes, and then I'll start getting heavy here so that I can feed that through because their reach gets their elbows away from their body which kind of stretches them out. But for now, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna do some basic sprawling drills, okay? I want you, a uh, bottom, uh, bottom person, just gonna be on their elbows and knees, okay? And be a little rigid. And okay? what I want you guys to do is, you're just gonna do circular movements, okay? Three, so I'm gonna let you rest. From here, one, go. head, and hip. Head, and hip. Head, and hip. And then you go back around. Okay. And your knees are never on the mat. Okay? In case of like Marco, Marco was doing this, and the guy was grabbing his leg. Okay, and he's just driving, driving, and Marco's here, and the guy's got his leg so deep that the, the, the leg's trapped. And you guys got 
Okay, guys that are strong, they'll pull that leg and it's hard to kick that back. Okay. But for now, I want you guys to understand you never hold on. You have to move. And your uh, kind of belly button diaphragm is right on there, circular part of the calf. Okay? So you're here. Okay? One hand hip. Head. Go back here. Head. Hip. You go here. Hip. Head. You go here. Hip. And one hip. You don't move lower. Then the other, so you're always applying pressure with the hip, okay? Because if you're not applying pressure with the hip, then it's just a plank, okay? And that's not good for me. Because see, I want to be here and head. Because if he starts grabbing that leg and driving forward, I want to be heavy, 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 heavy. But, but my knees are off the mat, so I can control him, okay? And in particular, for those of you who are police officers, you definitely want to be in this position. And keep going down and down here. But kind of head lock and pulling it down, 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 down. And always moving with your hips. Never like this. Because right here, they can even just grab your hips and drive forward and take you down and get taken down. Okay? And keep going. Okay? So one more time. From here. Let's see. Push me. Hand arms on a hip and a head. Roll on your hips. Gonna go one, two times around, and then the reverse way. And go slow. And your chest right around that circular logo. Here. Okay. Hip. Head. Hip. Head. Hip. Head. And go the other way. Hip. Head. Hip. Make sure you kind of roll your hips like you're an ironing, or not ironing, we call that, like a rolling pin. Hip, head, okay? Hip, head, look. Oh, oh my god. We're going from that wrong side. But there is no wrong side for Gregorian. <laughs> I think I've never done it from this side before. Oh, yeah, you have. I've been tapped from this side. <laughs> you know what? I swear to you, I don't think I've ever fed it from the right to the left hand. That way. But the debate's over. Back remember, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to re-back my memory down here. Because I always see it from the left That's true. to the right. Why? Because I'm much more comfortable controlling the sprawl so that they're attacking my right leg. Okay? So you're here, hip, head. Bottom person, stay with your back kind of bone. Don't just be all like relax right here, like with your face down and all that, because you will hurt your back, okay? Yeah. Let's do this, ready? One, two, three. Grab some nice exercise, guys.